we're good. This this line is going to be fantastic moving forward. It's, I think it'll change the way not only anglers, but guides interact with their clients. It's going to be an easier to cast line. It's going to uh, get less wind knots. It's going to cast farther. It's going to be more responsive. That center core is going to provide more sensitivity. This line is overall, I think, going to change the way guiding happens along with regular angling. There's always going to be a group of people that you know, they're fishing for fun. They don't, they don't really, they're not into it like we are. They're not in, they're certainly not into it like people that will sign up for a short afternoon webinar, right? I mean, we're, we're dedicated fishermen. We just, we're, we're crazy. <laughs> we love doing it. Uh, it occupies your time. It occupies everything you do. And as we discussed before, I see a lot of people in a lot of shows uh, that spend 150 to $200 on a rod They'll spend 150 to 400 dollars and up on a reel, and then they just kind of go down to the store somewhere and they buy line. Nobody asks any questions about where the line was built, who built it, what's the design, what fibers are you building, what is this line designed to do? Um, that is probably the most confusing thing to me in fishing. You know, we'll spend, like we talked about, you know, your your office there, you've got guys with offshore boats that have 10 rods on them and every one of those rods costs somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000 and they're getting line from the lowest bidder. That's that's never made any sense to me. The only thing that connects you to the fish is the line. So why don't we do a little bit of research? Why don't we find the best line we can find and find a company that stands behind it on top of that? And you're going to end up with more catches, which is going to end up with more landing, which is going to end up with more fun because you're not going to have that heartbreak that you know, comes from people that are splicing lines and things of that nature. You, the sourcing, the post-processing, but most importantly, the lack of splicing in our line, I think is something that really sort of endears people to fins once they find it. Um, we're not the biggest name out there. There's no doubt about it. We've been in business forever building lines for a lot of people. Our in-house stuff isn't as well known because I'm a little hamstrung on advertising as you can understand from our situation, but once people find our line, they usually never go away. It's, it's, pretty amazing. I've, I've told you about that guide we have down in, oh, I can't remember, it's Missouri or somewhere. I can't remember where he is, but he fishes for trophy catfish and he got a hold of me six months ago, seven months ago to order two 1500 yard spools or something. And I looked up his account. Well, his last order was 10 years ago and he'd been fishing the same line for 10 years, fishing trophy catfish in the middle of the swamp down there, pulling through logs and rocks and roots and stumps and everything else. And they're guided trips. I mean, he has to line the, land the fish for his clients and he orders line every 10 years. Eh, it's fine. It keeps working. I've never had a break. I don't have any issues with it. See, you know, I put his order in and he goes, I'll see you in 10 years. <laughs> just Things like that are just amazing to me. I don't know anybody that can fish the same line for that kind of time frame. I have friends that fish twice a week and they literally wear the color out online and it's fuzzy and hairy and they're still fishing it. And it just doesn't break. You know, once it doesn't break and you have confidence in it, you stop thinking about line. You'd be amazed how free your mind is to think about other things when you're not worried about breaking off on every other fish. It's, it's, it's inspiring to be honest with you, which sounds kind of corny, but it's true. It's I'm lucky. I mean, I count myself as one of the lucky individuals who has the ability to work with a company that really cares about building a quality product as a for, as compared to a profitable product, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. We make money as a business, but profit's not the main factor here. The best braid we can make is the main factor. And then we try to assess how to get it in the marketplace at a reasonable price that people are going to be able to afford and that we're going to have happy customers. That's, that's first and foremost.